In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the production possibilities frontier. This is also often called a production possibilities curve. This is a single economy, and the purple line represents output at full capacity or efficient output. A few assumptions. It assumes production over a specific time period, like one year. Inputs are fixed during this time period. Technology does not change during this time period. We'll talk about technology changes at the end of this video. If this too good economy produces at level A, X1 is produced and Y1 is produced. If at point B, Y2 is produced and X2 is produced. At points A and B, the economy is at full capacity. In fact, anywhere along the purple curve, the economy is at full capacity. This purple line is called a frontier because the economy can't produce beyond this point. It doesn't have the technological capability, so it's like a frontier that it can't go beyond. At point C, the economy is less than capacity and it's an inefficient point. In fact, anywhere in the gray area would be underutilized economy less than capacity. Now, point D is beyond capacity. The economy is not capable of producing at that level unless there's a technological change that shifts the entire production possibilities frontier out. Notice the curve is bowed out, and I'm going to discuss that now. Now, imagine the economy producing where that uh, gray dot is, and it gives up 10 units of Y to produce 40 units of X now. So this production level has moved to this new point. Doing that, the economy got a big bang, right? Didn't give up a lot of Y and got a lot of X. Now, if the economy shifts again, gives up 10, and it moves to this new level of production, what you can see is it got less than 40x, but it still had to give up 10 units of y. We call this the law of increasing relative cost. And if we continue on, each time the economy goes up 10, it gets less and less x. My dot's getting a little bit ahead of myself. I need to get all this populated uh, one more. There we go. Let me put on all the 10s too. There, there, put one there, there, there. Okay, great. Notice the last X is a lot less than 40 and that, and it goes down every time. Even though I'm always giving up 10 Y, I'm getting less X each time. Now let me, let me explain this again a different way. Now, at that level of production right there where the gray dot is, so how much does the economy have to give up? The Y, how much Y does it have to give up to move to this point? It has to give up 30 to get 40x. Now, if the economy gives up 60y, it only gets 20x. The economy has to give up more and more y to get the same x. Opportunity cost, or what you give up, increases. Opportunity cost increases. You have to give up more y to get the same x. Now, imagine the agricultural economy in 2000. 10 now, I guess almost 2011, but let's say 2010, let me put that in there. And think of all the technological advances for agricultural products. In 1800, the production possibilities frontier was just about there. Horses pulled plows and agriculture was limited technologically. By 1920, the whole curve shifts out, and the reason that is is because we got tractors, we have irrigation systems, we have sophisticated agriculture now, and it actually is producing more. The frontier shifted out. And by 2010, we have giant tractors, we have fertilizers, we have pesticides, we have a lot of science, and so, and we have sophisticated irrigation systems, so we see the curve has shifted out since 1800. Let me go ahead and fade out all these words here if I can. Here we go. There we go. And now technology increases. We see the, the production possibilities frontier 
gradually shifts out over a couple centuries. And there's more to come, and good luck, and I will see you later.